welcome to another edition of South Texas Crossfire. This is attorney Joe Flores reminding you to join us each and every week right here on KTMV with the Lopez family. Special thanks to Don Alberto Lozano Lopez. He passed away in 2011, but he's honored, he's venerated, he's never forgotten. And my good friend Carlos Lopez, you guessed it, the Ted Turner of South Texas Broadcasting. Well, we're taking our show on the road today a little bit. Let me tell you a little bit of a story. Uh, I uh, ran over my phone, uh, 3,500 pounds plus me, so it's a pretty heavy load. And I ran over it, crushed it, left it beyond recognition. And uh, I took it over and uh, to express my gratitude, I wanted a young entrepreneur, one of uh, many here in this country that are keeping this country rolling, flash fix, and we're here with none other than Dennis Patel, the magic maker, technology in the making. Welcome, Dennis. How are you, man? Hello, Joe. How are you guys? Hey, well, thank you so much. Now, everybody to know, it's 5702 South Staples. It's right here by the Subway Staples in Holly. And uh, the number, the magic number is 452-1161. That's 452-1161. Tell us a little bit, of Dennis, what made you open Flash Fix cell phone and electronic repairs? Well, let's see. I've been uh, fixing electronics since... Uh, for a long time now, I started off with the Xbox 360s. Everybody knows that, uh, or if you have kids that play video games, you'd know that they get something called the Red Ring of Death. And basically, it sounds horrible, but it stops your Xbox 360 from working. So uh, when I was younger, I used to play a lot of video games and such, and uh, I started fixing Xbox 360s, fixing the Red Ring of Death. Mine had it, and then I fixed mine, and then, um, I, my friends had theirs and they're like, hey, Dennis can fix it. So everybody started bringing it to me. And then, uh, so then it just went from Xboxes to, then the iPhone came out in 2008 and uh, started working on that. And laptops and computers were always a passion for me. So uh, I decided to open up a business fixing uh, electronics. Well, and uh, how long has Flash Fix uh, here on 5702 South Staples been open? We've been open for about two and a half months now. And uh, it's, it's really been doing great. Well, and you know, how I find them was on Google, of course, and now we're getting more technology more and more. And uh, you know, you're top rated. I brought it over here and unbelievably you fixed it. And of course, being the busy lawyer that I am, I hadn't backed up in a while. And so it had been a while. So uh, tell us a little bit about my phone. Uh, this was, uh, we, we have a little before and after pictures that Dave can go to here in a minute. But um, uh, t tell us a little bit of how, how you repaired my phone after the entire vehicle crushed it. Oh man, Joe's phone was uh, pr pretty uh, messed up, to say the least. Uh, he brought it in, shattered screen everywhere, it was bent, and the frame was like not even uh, like straight or anything, so Whoops. then uh, it wasn't turning on either, so then uh, we opened it up, and then we inspected different things. I put in a new LCD because that was gone, and then uh, the home button was also cut from the broken glass, so we had to order... Uh, replaced the home button on there and uh, we had to get some new connections because the some of the ribbon cables were messed up for that so his uh, his was pretty uh, pretty extraordinary of a repair and uh, I'm just glad that we got it back up live and then we were able to back up your stuff to iTunes and uh, it's so important to keep regular backups that way whenever something terrible like that does happen, you always have a go-to where your important files or your important media, pictures, videos, things like that are uh, safe and secure. Well, and, and people, uh, a lot of people don't know, they get their iPhone and they don't know between iCloud, iTunes, what's the difference with those two things for backing up? Well, iCloud is more of a, it's Apple's, it's basically Apple's uh, drive. Whenever you take pictures and stuff, it uploads it into uh, some people say the cloud, which is really just uh, some servers that Apple owns. But um, they, they, your pictures and things like that, it gets saved and stored into Apple's computers. So that's what iCloud is. iTunes is actually the program that um, Apple uses to connect your phones and connect your Apple devices to uh, the computer to transfer images, music, videos, and things like that. And, and, you know, I, I feel like crying. I got on iTunes instead of going to Spotify that my daughter showed me about, and I bought all these thousands of songs. I went crazy. But technology is just flooding us, okay? I mean, from cybersecurity, let's oh, take yeah. it national and global, uh, the election, cybersecurity, how safe is, are Americans right now with their phones, with their technology? Can anybody hack in? If you're on a Wi-Fi, say, on your computer and laptop, 
and you're traveling the world or in an airport or in a restaurant, uh, how easy it is, is it somebody uh, that is a computer savvy, how easy is it to go ahead and hack in and it, get on Wi-Fi and learn about people? It is actually incredibly easy. If somebody knows what they're doing, uh, let's just say you have a um, Wi-Fi at your house. Most people use pretty easy passwords, something like uh, high speed or password one or something like that. Those are the most vulnerable uh, networks, Wi-Fi networks. So in order to, somebody that is actually trying to hack into your Wi-Fi network, they could crack something like that in a matter of less than a minute. Wow. And then a lot of people, they uh, actually keep their administrative settings on their router. They keep that stock. So whenever you go log into the Wi-Fi and you go to 192.168.0.1 or 1.1, whatever your login is, most of the time it's just admin and password and bam. You could get into all the administrative settings. You could change the Wi-Fi name and things like that. But it's also very difficult because we're talking about the administrative stuff. Keeping secure, once you're actually connected to that Wi-Fi network, Hackers use something called packet sniffing, which is basically there's data transmitting over that Wi-Fi network, and a hacker will actually uh, sniff the data, as they say. Oh, my God, I'm getting so paranoid, <laughs> Dennis. And basically, they'll uh, see what, what kind of data is being transmitted, and they'll intercept that. I, I mean, uh, this is serious. I mean, you know, from the elections... Uh, to, and everybody says the Russians have the market on, uh, you know, hacking, but that's not true. We have very ingenious, homegrown guys that can do this stuff, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's not difficult at all. Um, and nowadays, more and more people are learning, learning security and learning um, technology. So it's, it's actually just technically it's called reverse engineering. Well, Flash Fix, uh, uh, Flash Fix Repairs .com. That's Flash Fix Repairs .com. Uh, The other question that is kind of burning in my mind is um, people that are healthcare providers, doctors. Uh, we've got healthcare providers, and there are big fines, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. You know, I have discussed this, and uh, and we're going to take a break just for a second. Dennis is getting a call as we speak, and remember, you can call him at four five two eleven sixty one. Four five two eleven sixty one. Let's keep rolling, Dave. Uh, flash fix repairs. Let me tell you something. Uh, Dennis uh, pulled me out of the fire. He can pull your phone out of the fire. And let me tell you, backing up of your right. security data is very important. Right. Let me tell you, we've got information out there. Not just pictures, but very personal things like your family matters. Also, if you want to protect your privacy, from prying eyes. If you have somebody who's stalking or bothering you or being a cyber bully, these are very important things to watch yourself with. And we're back with Dennis here. The phones are going crazy. You can call him at 452-1161. That's 452-1161 or just log on flashfixrepairs.com. Dennis, we were talking about the market on there. Okay, so we're talking about healthcare providers, doctors, nurses. I have people that have been victims of cyber crime by people taking their thumb drives and stuff. Uh, people say, well, how do I encrypt medical data to protect my patient data? People that are like over 60 that may not be computer savvy or may be cons uh, computer savvy, but their Medicare records are being stolen. Identity theft is happening. These are federal charges. This is very serious. How do you encrypt or how do you tell the average doctor, nurse, and home health and hospital how to back up data? So protecting data is very, very important. There's a lot of easy ways to do it, actually. It's not as difficult as, uh, as it may sound, but um, for healthcare providers, Google actually has something called Google Apps, which uh, is now called Google Suite. They just changed the name recently. And uh, with Google Suite, you can actually uh, become HIPAA compliant, which is uh, your mail will be HIPAA compliant and all your storage will also be HIPAA compliant. So, um, you know, whenever you message a healthcare professional or sometimes even attorneys, um, at the bottom it says that this message is confidential only to be read by uh, the two parties involved or the number of individuals involved in that uh, communication. So, uh, Google Apps or Google Suite is actually a great way to for healthcare professionals to um, be HIPAA compliant. And for, for backing up data and stuff, there's actually a lot of ways you can do it. Um, encrypting files is very important nowadays. There's uh, open source programs called uh, 
There's one called TrueCrypt, which is really good. Basically, you can make a container that's encrypted with a password, and then you could store everything in that container. Of course, it's a digital container, and uh, that's a good way. So in case anybody does get that container, they won't be able to access the files without that password. So it's basically like a digital lockbox. And we're taking in a lot of technology. Again, you're watching uh, South Texas Crossfire right here on KTMB Channel 6. Uh, we're here with Dennis Patel and uh, Flash Fix. And you can call him, the magic number, 452-1161. And also come on board, flashfixrepairs.com. That number's appearing in front of your screen. Uh, things are kind of going crazy around here. We've taken a few cuts. We've had some uh, co concerned citizens coming in, cracked. Uh, sometimes crimes of passion. Uh, let's switch to that. Uh, somebody says, ah, you like taking pictures? You know, bam. Okay, so you get a lot of... Uh, uh, crimes of passion that go unreported and remember ladies and gentlemen out there you break somebody's phone it's like six hundred dollars kind of like criminal mischief so take it easy okay <laughs> uh break something else you know uh I don't break it over his head okay so you get a lot of phones with unexplained uh fractures and breaks so uh w what are the tough cases that you deal with besides mine where I ran over the phone you well, know what's funny is that you're talking about uh significant others possibly possibly throwing your phone or, and what's funny is that I had one customer come in and... And uh, remember, we have a Latino audience so they can relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had uh, one customer come in yeah. with a uh, cracked, cracked phone. And uh, she came in the morning and she's like, uh, Hi, I would like to get my boyfriend's phone repaired. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, what happened to it? She's like... Well, I accidentally threw it from uh, one side of the room to the other. And I was like, oh. Log on to celoso.com. <laughs> anyway. How did that happen? And she's like, well, alcohol was involved. And so uh, she, she said that her boyfriend said that uh, he would do it himself. But she felt bad. And uh, they, they made up. And she felt bad. So she brought in his phone and... Uh, I went ahead and I fixed that for her. Oh, so. see the love stories, you know? Here, honey, here's my cell phone uh, password, not. Okay, <laughs> anyway, uh, but, but a lot of people, seriously, uh, you know, they have their phones damaged. Okay, let's talk about stalking, cyber terrorism, all this stuff. If people are trying to uh, hack your phone, if, uh, if you're afraid that you're being monitored without a warrant, a Title III warrant or things like that, what can you do on your phone to protect yourself? That way people can't be snooping. Well, there's uh, privacy is actually a big issue with uh, with phones nowadays because with phones you're actually uh, Google is Google or Apple basically get to see uh, maybe they not be might not be actively looking but they have all your communication stored. So um, some tips that you can do to maintain your privacy is that you know whenever you download a new app, right? Um, It'll say, it'll say like allow permissions, this app would like access to your contacts, this app would like access to your location and things like that. For unnecessary, unnecessary apps that you don't use all the time, it's a good idea to disable the, the permissions for that app because um, that app might be tracking where you go, they might be collecting data on what kind of things you buy, and then they'll sell that data to advertisers, and that's, why you'll, that's how you get targeted ads. Like you may uh, one day be browsing for a new computer on your phone, and then uh, all of a sudden on your Twitter and Facebook, all you're seeing is uh, computer ads. So that's mm. basically what's going on, is that uh, they collect that data and then they sell that to advertisers. Magic number, 452-1161. We've talked about crimes of passion. We've talked about HIPAA for uh, the healthcare brothers and sisters of mine. And we've talked about uh, your phone being broken. Um, the other backup of data. Now, uh, the other issues that are very, very important uh, in my mind uh, uh, are computers, okay? Now, you also handle computers, right? Correct. Laptops. Okay, somebody, uh, let's say somebody steals your laptop, you have very important information on it, but you have it password protected. Is there a way somebody can track their laptop? Is there a way you can find it to see if somebody's trying to log in and hack in that information? Let's say a doctor loses his laptop or a business guy, and they're trying to hack in and they're trying to figure out the, the password. What can you do to help uh, law enforcement to find it? Well, there's a lot of uh, apps and also products that allow you to uh, track your devices. So um, let's just say you're talking about a laptop. There's, uh, there's lots of people that use apps that way they know exactly what location their laptop is, is at. And also there's physical products as well that you could just uh, basically attach it to your device and uh, 
you could track it using GPS. Okay, and, and uh, the two, uh, if people want to come in and bring in their laptops and secure them and stuff, you handle that here at FlashFix? Correct, we do. Okay, and backing up of data, because now we don't have photo albums, we have photo albums. Like, right. I've got 12,000 pictures, 568 videos on my phone right now. No wonder it goes slow. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's really good to uh, back up your stuff to maybe an external hard drive or... Um, Flash drives are good. If you have a lot of data, maybe a flash drive might not have enough space for you, but external hard drives are great solutions um, to making sure that if your primary device gets broken, lost, stolen, then you always have a backup of your, um, of your media and data. Okay, well, and, and the other thing that we've been talking about is how technology is just exploding, right? Uh, from the elections, uh, you know, with uh, threats going out there, uh, sanctions being issued, uh, you know, that, that people try to mess with our elections, how easy it is to hack in. Uh, but the technology is exploding now with the use of drones. Tell us a little bit about what drones are and the application of what's been going on with that and the, and, and the, the capabilities of drones. Well, well, a lot of people don't know what drones are. Drones are basically um, flying robots in the truest sense. Um, they, a lot of companies are starting to use drones for um, delivery, for basically any way to uh, travel faster. Drones are also, um, the use of drones is also be, being regulated by the FAA now, so you need to have a drone license if you, uh, 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 if you want to operate that drone. Um, there's a lot of commercial use cases for drones now. Like you might see Amazon actually is uh, starting to deliver products via drones. And also for um, law enforcement, for EMS and other things like that, they're actually testing whenever there's an accident that happens, they can actually send out a drone and uh, it'll kind of monitor the situation before the ambulance or before the police officers arrive as well. So there's a lot of uh, applications, uh, lots of use cases for these drones from delivery to emergency services as well. What do you have to tell people about, uh, you know, and I'm not just picking on Sprint, uh, but they said the phone was not repairable, my insurance is covered, you don't worry about it, it's broken. W what do you have to tell people about the insurance on phones and, and the, the, the kind of, for consumer advice? Well, for consumers, insurance, first of all, insurance is a business. So um, the networks are making a lot of money off of insurance, and Asurion, which is uh, the insurance provider for many of these networks, they're, uh, they're actually outsourcing their repairs as well to shops. So what's important to know is that for consumers, sometimes repair insurance might not be the best route to go. Take, for example, um, most insurance plans, whenever you, you sign a two-year contract with the network. So, and most insurance is about $20 a month. So let's just say after six months you drop your phone. Um, you've already been paying $20 a month for your insurance, but whenever you do take it to the insurance to get your phone repaired, you actually have to pay a deductible as well. So that deductible can be somewhere between $80 to $120 sometimes. And with that, uh, whenever you do take it to the insurance company to get it repaired, you're out of a phone for three to five days, and um, it's, it's a bit of an inconvenience, whereas you could actually take it to a local repair shop, and uh, we can fix that for you for about uh, $80, $90 sometimes. So it's actually less than your deductible, and you could be saving money uh, on your insurance, $20 a month. And we got a couple of minutes left. You're watching uh, Flash Fix Cell Phone and Electronics Repairs, uh, magic number 452-1161, and you can also log in to flashfixrepairs.com. That information is appearing in front of your screen. Uh, I always let everybody, I talk too much, so closing arguments from Dennis Patel, the entrepreneur here, one of uh, a series of young entrepreneurs that are coming on the, the uh, Corpus Christi and the South Texas frontier here and taming this land, making new business. Uh, uh, any uh, closing statements or any information you want to give the public? Yeah, sure. I'll give out some tips. Um, we, we live in Corpus Christi, city by the water, lots of water around here. So um, here's a tip. If you ever drop your phone in water, um, the best thing to do is make sure that you don't plug it into a charger. Um, a lot of the times the phone will be black and people will just think, oh, let me plug it into a charger and see if it works. But that is actually the best way to short circuit a phone. And um, so putting it, if you drop your phone in water, don't put it into a charger. Um, also, 
regarding security that we talked about, it's really good to have good passwords. Um, there's something called two-factor authentication. I use it for my Google account, and it's very important because uh, I love it. Because if somebody else is trying to log into my Gmail or my Google account, something pops up on my phone saying, would you like to accept this login? So if I'm logging in anytime from a new computer, or let's just say a hacker is actually trying to log into my Google account, it'll pop up on my phone saying allow or deny login requests. So two-factor authentication is great for security. And um, we, we focus a lot here on privacy, security, fixing phones, technology, and things like that. So uh, yeah, that's some of the things that I'd like to say. Well, uh, we want to thank Dennis Patel at flashfixrepairs.com and also 452-1161. And the address here is 5702 South Staples, right in the corner of Staples and Holly. I uh, want to thank you for fixing my phone that I crushed uh, beyond repair that said that it was not fixable. Sprint said it was not fixable. You fixed it, and thank you so much for that. You're welcome, Joe. And uh, we're all about helping the public on KTMV, so hopefully this information has been uh, very helpful. Bring your laptop, computer, or cell phone by and come visit Dennis Patel right over here at uh, 5702 South Staples. And, of course, the number again is 452-1161. And flashfixrepairs.com. That's out of time right now. We're out. Dave's pulling the cane and taking me off the stage. We are done. And once again, thank you and God bless.